Okay, this is one to pick up where it was right and this was discontinuous. Okay, um, if you do a table, okay, and you put those values into a table just to speed this video along, you put them in, you'll notice you get values. This is going towards 1,000. This is going to negative 1,000. That's another reason why it's uh, discontinuous, okay? Um, I like to do uh, one more uh, involving piecewise, okay? Let's say your function is this. So, the idea is, okay, if I evaluate this at, th uh, at negative three, okay, the, uh, uh, the only one that I would actually answer that for is this. So, two minus negative three would actually be five, okay? Now, so I got an answer. So, you're thinking, all right, I got negative three here. Let's go negative uh, 2.999. Negative 2.99, negative 2.90, negative 3.001, negative 3.01, and negative 3.1. Now you gotta be careful here. Which side, this side here are the greater numbers. So I'm gonna use this function to evaluate this side, okay? So I'm gonna go back, I go 3x, okay, minus two, Right, table, so I would do negative 2.999. That's negative, uh, basically negative 10.99. Then I would do negative 2.99. That's negative 10.97. And then I would do negative 2.9. I get negative, so that's, that's that one. And that looks good. Okay, now here's the problem. This is for the less than values. So now I gotta use this function. Okay, all right, and watch the difference. This is two minus x. All right, so I got uh, negative 3.001, which is five. Negative 3.01, which is 5.01. And then negative 3.1 gives me 5.1. Now here's the problem. This was okay, but as you can see, they're approaching different numbers, so this is no good, so this is discontinuous, okay? So the idea here, we gotta get an answer here, they gotta approach this number, okay, which would have been five, has to approach that, and then you just simply write the limit as that approaches, okay? So, I would like to give you guys Okay, all right, one to do on your own. All right. Uh, okay. I would like you to, to show me if it's continuous at x equals four. Okay, all right, so go ahead and pause the video. And, and show me the continuity test. You've got to show all three steps. Okay, now we're going to unpause. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so I would try to evaluate this at x cubed minus 2x plus 6. I'm evaluating this. Whoops. At 4. So I want to, I want to type in 4. I get 62. So f of 4 is 62. So when I do this next step, the idea is if I have 4, I should have both things approaching 62. So 3 9s, 2 9s, 1 9, uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, okay? So I go ahead and type all this stuff in. 4.1 is 66. 
See, both approaching 62, so I'm good there. Last step, the limit as x approaches 4 is the same as f of 4. And that would be how you show the continuity test. Okay? So that is the lesson. I'm going to try to combine both videos to see how that works.